Hey guys, Ivan here, and we are 3 weeks out of Arnold Classic 2024, and in this video we got some really interesting news, and we're gonna start with this physique update of Ramon Dino, now, he is not really hitting a pose, he's just doing an exercise, but we can see quite a bit of his conditioning, of his physique overall, and you know, at this point, 3 weeks out, I wouldn't say he looks super shredded, like, he doesn't look completely peeled, as of yet. I mean, right now, we're three weeks out, and Ramon kind of did start his prep a little bit late. Right now is kind of the time when he's gonna push things the most, when he's gonna be really flat, and right now, it's that time when the magic is actually happening. Right now, his conditioning is probably gonna get just better and better, and he's coached by Chris Asito, so we know he's gonna be in shape, that's not really a problem, but right now, like, compared to some other bodybuilders who are prepping for the Arnold, right now, Ramon Dino's conditioning is not really... He's not ready yet. But not everybody needs to be ready three weeks out or four weeks out like some bodybuilders. Some of these guys are gonna be ready on the day of the stage, and that's it. And in some cases, that's the best case scenario. Some physiques don't look very good if they are in shape for a long time. They start to crumble down as they keep the conditioning. Sometimes it's really hard to maintain the fullness and the hardness if you are lean for very long. Some others can maintain conditioning for a very long time and just get better, but the others can't. And maybe Ramon Dino is one of those guys who are waiting for the last moment and they simply peak on the day of the show. And I'm not necessarily saying that Ramon Dino is not in shape, but he is extremely, extremely flat. I don't think I ever saw him looking this thin, this flat, he's probably like zero carbs for who knows how long, I'm sure he's suffering bad right now, and when you are flat like this, when your muscles are just depleted from carbs completely, there is nothing to push against your skin, and your skin is gonna look like it's twice the size that it needs to be, and then your conditioning is gonna look off, but maybe he's actually much leaner, if he did a carb up right now, a peak week protocol, he would actually probably be very close to his contest shape, but as it is right now, he's pushing, he's uh, creating that conditioning, and this is the part of the process, and this, this video was taken by Terry Kelgindi, one of the top judges in the IVB, one of the top promoters of many shows, and he is the one who took this video and posted it, maybe Ramon wasn't happy that this is out, I'm sure he wouldn't post this himself, but what can he do now? ask Tarek to remove it, no, no, come on, it is out, it's there, and we can see what Ramon is looking right now, I'm pretty sure he's still gonna win the Arnold Classic, I mean, he's the former champion, and at the Mr. Olympia, there was a two-man call-out, the top two, him versus Chris Bumstead, and it was a good battle, actually, everybody else was battling for third, so I don't really see Brian Ainsley or Urs Kaletsinski beating Ramon Dino, even though they're looking much better than him right now, but again, this is the part of the process, he still has time, in three weeks he will be shredded, and I'm sure fuller, and he's gonna peak for the show, and yeah, everything should be fine at the end, but right now at this moment, I don't care how big of a fan of Ramon Dino you are, you can't tell me that this is like the best he ever looked, you gotta be honest, guys, like, look at his physique, this is not looking very good for Ramon's standards, I mean, look at him when he's full-blown, in case you forgot how good he actually can look, take a look at his photo, I mean, this is looking like he could do the open, I mean, not like this, of course, but, like, there is the potential for him to grow and actually be a good open competitor someday, because he has massive arms, you know, forearms, like, limbs are really big, legs, too, he could grow them to be really freaking massive, and also, recently, basically a couple of years ago, he was much, much smaller, he started in man's physique, and look at him now, he's battling against Chris Bumstead, so this guy can grow fast, so if he wanted, he could do the open bodybuilding, right now, this is basically what he looks like when he is on, when he is full-blown, and I'm pretty sure once his prep is over, once he's filled out, once he's refreshed, rested, and all that, once he peaks, he will be a dominant Arnold Classic champion, but as of right now, at this very moment in the prep, like I said, it is a part of the process, this is what you look like when you're prepping, when you're pushing things very hard, when you're depleted, but I don't care, they posted this video, and I'm gonna analyze it, and I gotta say, right now, he is not exactly looking his absolute best, but... I don't worry, in 3 weeks time, I think he will be 100% on, whatever you guys think, tell me down below. 
Now, as far as the other Brazilian who is also doing the Arnold Classic but open division, Rafael Brandao, he posted this photo, most muscular, and I gotta say, he is probably like in a similar situation. I mean, I was looking at his off-season photos and I thought this guy grew like 20 pounds of muscle. I mean, just look at him right here in the off-season. He was freaking massive. He was really freaking huge. This looked kind of scary for an aesthetic guy, for a guy who is spoken about as the potential classic physique guy, right? Like, he grew a lot in the off-season working with Neil Hill, but right now, at three weeks out, he kind of looks pretty much the same as the last time he competed. But again, I'm assuming he is also very depleted at this moment. And that's why he looks kind of, you know, smaller, flatter. But, you know, I believe, I believe he actually made some solid progress. And we're going to be able to see it on stage. But maybe not as much as we thought, at least as I thought, based on his off-season photos. As he dieted down, he lost a lot of that size, a lot of that fullness, so it appears that most of it was like water, glycogen. He was probably pushing so much food, he was so bloated, so watery, and now as all the water and glycogen is out, this is what is left. But again, he's probably pushing for conditioning right now and he's very depleted. Once he carbs up for the stage, He's probably gonna look better, but I do think he made progress. I absolutely do believe that. Maybe, again, maybe not as much as it seemed at one point, but once the process is over, once his conditioning is completely in, once he has time to rest up, to carb up, to do a peak week, once he finally actually steps on that stage, I believe we're gonna see an improved version of Rafael Brandao, and I believe this guy is gonna be third or maybe fourth but most likely third right after Samson Dowler and Hadi Chopin because I don't think James Hollinshead is beating him. So this is James Hollinshead right now, this is his physique right now, the most recent physique update and this is three weeks out and I don't think his conditioning changed much from the past week or so and I don't think he's gonna get any better from now on until the Mr. Olympia because this guy is ready very very early earlier than everybody and because of him people are looking at other competitors and they're saying they are late are they going to be ready people are forgetting that not everybody needs to be ready five weeks out like james was now as far as james his conditioning for five weeks out four weeks out was tremendous it was really good but the thing is it's not gonna change this is it if he pushes more he's gonna lose size and fullness and that's not something he's willing to do, at least that's my impression. And I am under that impression, not for whatever reason, it's because that's what he's saying on the podcast he's doing, on the posts he's writing. For example, take a look at this one. He is up six pounds because he had a cheat meal. He had some pizza and I don't know, whatever, fries. He posted a story, he, he had a lot of food and he's up six pounds. So at this point, he's probably gonna maintain this conditioning and try to freshen up his body to have kind of like a rebound to get bigger and fuller but i don't think he's gonna get any leaner now is this conditioning good enough i mean it's okay it's a fine conditioning but it's not mind-blowing it's not an insane level of conditioning and i'm not saying that the other guys like samson dauda or rafael brenda or whoever else are gonna be much much sharper than james but you know james is not gonna be the conditioning guy i don't think so i don't think he ever was really he does have that grainy look especially in his update photos he maintains a really low body fat percent in the off season but when it comes to competing he doesn't get all the way shredded especially if you compare him to some of the guys that are known for conditioning and he is often compared to dorian yates because of his graininess and dorian went way further with conditioning like this is dorian's like eight weeks out conditioning i wouldn't even say six weeks out i'm sure all of you guys know these photos 1993 six weeks out of mr olympia this was dorian yates and his conditioning and also the size you can see how big dorian actually was so he could afford to go further with conditioning and stay big james is not really on that level of size he needs to get much much bigger in the off season if he wants to have dorian yates conditioning and the size 
So he chooses to stay bigger, you know, probably around the size of Dorian, but with much, much worse conditioning. Here's a back shot. I guess you could say it's a comparable conditioning, but it's six weeks out. Dorian got much, much leaner as the prep went along. I don't imagine James going for this kind of conditioning. Could he get here? Well, with his graininess, with his hard look that he has, he could, but he wouldn't be this big, and he knows that. So as far as conditioning, strictly, this is probably what you're gonna see on that stage. Maybe fuller a little bit, maybe a little bit drier, but you know, that that's about it. And could this be like third place after Hardy and Samson, if Hardy shows up, which I don't know if he's going to, but let's say those two guys show up, Samson and Hardy, can this guy beat Rafael Brando and Horse MD? It's possible, it's definitely possible, but I don't think we saw the final version of those two guys. As far as James, we can get a pretty good idea what he's gonna look like, and right now I kind of feel like he did not improve enough to beat this guy. I mean, Rafael Brando, who was 10th at the Mr. Olympia, and if he made a lot of progress, if he actually did make a lot of progress, then I don't know. I mean, this guy can challenge Samson Dauda. He was beating him a couple of years ago. I mean, of course, Samson literally had a metamorphosis in the meantime, so I think, you know, he's still ahead. But, you know, as far as Rafael beating James, that's, that's most likely gonna be the case. At the Mr. Olympia, James was way behind Rafael. He was battling against... Antoine, I mean, those guys were kind of close, but also James was way off with conditioning, he was super watery, so I don't know, I have no idea what's gonna happen, but um, yeah, as far as James beating Raphael, I don't think so, at this point, I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, and yeah, a little digression from the Arnold Classic topic, we got a Good Vito physique update, we have this most muscular shot of Good Vito, it's, it's new, it's recent, you can see his belly button, it looks, this is the way it looks like after the operation, so, this is recent, I mean, you know, this is not good Vito when he's prepping, of course. When he's prepping, he looks much harder, leaner, drier, of course. But as far as the size, the size is back, you know. After the surgery, it took him only a couple of weeks, I believe, and he was back on full-blown. And right now, you can see he's freaking massive. Uh, he's prepping for the Ano Classic Brazil, which is kind of happening relatively soon. He will be ready. If he wants to be, he will be ready, but, you know, the question is, can he win the Arnold Brazil? Because he's facing Rafael Brandau and probably Horse MD, both of those guys. But if he can be in the top three against them and actually challenge them in some poses, that would be awesome for a pro debut. And I think that's exactly what's going to be the case. Those three guys are going to be the top three at the Arnold Classic Brazil, but we'll see who else is doing it. Maybe Samson Dauda jumps in. I mean, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be crazy for Samson to do another show. So we'll see. It's gonna be a very interesting season. Soon it's gonna start. In a couple of weeks, Arnold Classic is the first show. So guys, stay tuned for more bodybuilding updates like this one and coverage of the shows. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye bye.